Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make Native American style chandelier earrings. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell. In this way you will know when I make similar tutorials and you will be inspired often. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough guys for these actions. Check descriptions where you will find useful resources and my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. Thank you so much for watching. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are five colors of 11 on seed beads. This is really dark blue color, white color, red color, yellow color and turquoise color. Uh, these are earring findings here. This is Nymo nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up four of these beautiful dark beads. Sliding those down and here I will leave a small tail uh, which I'm gonna be using to finish my work later. I will put my needle on it and finish my work. Okay, now what I do after I take these four beads is that I go back through two of them in this direction. Okay, just like this. Then I want to go back through the other two. And in this way, guys, you see here I have two columns of beads that are next to each other and the holes are pointing in one and the same direction. I take two more of those beautiful seed beads and I go back through these two. Okay, now I have this. Then again backwards through this one two again and back through the last two again through the newly added two and I will continue this guys until I have 11 rows now what I have here are five rows So I need to add six more to have 11 in total. I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my 11th row of my work. And I pull. In my next step, I want to take a white and a dark bead. And now I will continue with the brick stitch. How I do this after I take these two beads, I you see these thread bridges that I have here. Uh, I don't go through the first one, but I go through the second one. Because now in my next row I will have less beads than in this previous row. I make decreasing brick stitch and when I do decreasing brick stitch, I always start with two beads and I always go through the second thread bridge instead of the first one. Okay, then I go through the bit that is closer to the center of my work. And then I want to make an, a reinforcement because these beads stretch as they go through the second thread bridge. I need to reinforce them in order to make them stay nice next to each other. The next beads I'm going to add one by one. First I need a red bead and I go in the next thread bridge that I have here. Uh, 
and backwards through the bead. Then I take one more of the next color, which is turquoise. And I go under the next thread bridge and through the bead that I'm adding. So I have two yellows in the middle. And then I will repeat what I have here the other way around. So turquoise, red, dark and white. Okay guys, now this row is ready and I will continue with the next row. Each of those rows I will start with a white and a dark bead and I will go under the second thread bridge because all of those rows are decreasing brick stitch rows. That is why at the first step it's all the same. White and dark second thread bridge go through the dark one which is closer to the center then through the white in order to reinforce now i will continue adding one by one red turquoise yellow turquoise red and again dark and white okay i will show you this Next row I start the same way with a white and a dark bead under the second thread bridge. Go through the one closer to the center of my work. Then reinforce. And I'm going to add the following sequence, red to turquoise, red, white, dark and white.
Okay, start the next row absolutely the same way that I showed you from the beginning. Now I'm going to add red turquoise, red, dark, white. And I'm starting next row the same way. Then two reds, dark white. Again, the same step here. And then red, dark, white. Absolutely the same thing here. And then a dark and a white. One more time, the same step, go under the second thread bridge, which is the middle one of the three thread bridges that I have left. Then my work tells me that I need one white bead. And I will finish it with two white beads. And again, I here I have two thread bridges left, you see. And I will go under the second thread bridge with these two whites. And again, what I do is arrange.
then what I need are two seed beads, my earring finding and two seed beads. And as I'm exiting from this white bead, I go in the neighbor white bead. And I pull. Then I go backwards like this through these beads. And again. And you could, you might want to reinforce this part, guys, as many times as you'd like. And now what I want to do is go in this direction through all of those beads. And I'm exiting here at this side. Now what I want to do is to put a needle here on this tail thread. And I will make some knots and reinforcements and I will cut it. Okay, I'll put the needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, now I have two needles. One is on my shorter end, the other is on the other end. If you have one needle, you could move this one here, of course. And what I want to do is to make additional reinforcement of this other side of my work. And then if you don't want to make knots, you could just zigzag through your work. And after enough zigzagging, you could cut your thread. Or you could make a small knot and then after that, go through some beads and cut it. Now I will use the method of zigzagging. And after a while, I will cut it as close as possible to my work. And now I have these guys. Now I'm going to start my fringe part here. I will take a really long sequence here and I will be telling you the steps. I will take a really long sequence here and I will be telling you the steps. You will also see them written here. And uh, first I'm going to take nine white beads and I'm sliding those down. Okay, then I'm taking this sequence, a dark bead, a red bead, a yellow bead, turquoise bead, white bead, turquoise bead, yellow, red and dark beads. Okay, take it and slide it down. Then I will be taking 12 white beads. Okay, 12 of them. Slide those down. Okay, then I will be taking the following sequence, dark, red, yellow, turquoise, two whites, turquoise, yellow, red and dark, sliding this down. And from here on guys, I will repeat this, this and this step. Okay, 12 white beads. Slide those down. Then this sequence that is the same as this one. Dark, red, yellow, turquoise, white, turquoise, yellow, red and dark. And then what I need are nine more beads. And these are the beads that I started here. Okay. Then what I do is that I go 
here in the last two dark beads. And I have this first fringe ready. Then what I do is that I go in the neighbor two beads, just like this. And I'm going to pick up the next sequence. Here I need seven white beads. Then absolutely the same sequence as here. You could pause and pick it up. Then take 10 white beads. Okay, 10 of them. After that, take the same sequence as here. Okay, here it is. You could pause and pick it up and you will see it written also on your screens. Okay, and from here on you repeat these three steps. 10 white beads. After that, take this sequence. Okay, pause and pick it up. Then take seven white beads. Okay, seven of them. And go here in the second two blue beads. Okay, with this my second fringe is ready. Then you see where I go. And I take here five beads. Slide those down. Take this sequence. Okay, here it is. Sliding this one down. Then here, take eight white beads. Slide those down as well and take this sequence here. Okay, here it is. Slide it down. Eight white beads. Then I need this sequence. Slide it like this. And since I started with five beads, I'm also finishing with five beads. After that, I take three white beads. So they are nine, seven, five, three. And here are 12, 10, 8. So the white part in each row is with two white beads less and the other parts are the same. Okay, I'm sliding those down. And now here, guys, I have six white beads. They are with two less than these eight that I have in my previous row. And then I take this sequence, which is almost the same as this one, just in the center there are two white beads instead of one. Okay, I'm sliding this down. Again, six whites. Then this sequence.
and three white beads. So I go here in these next beads. And here guys only one white and I have the same sequence as before. Four whites after that with two less than the six that I added here. Then the following sequence which is the same as this one. four white beads you see one two three four then this sequence okay absolutely the same sequence that i'm taking all the time and just one white bead Then I go here in the center. After that I take absolutely the same sequence that I took all the time. I slide it down. And then I take the following sequence. Three whites, then the familiar sequence I've been taking all the time and then three more whites. Okay? And this will be the last one of this fringe that, that we are making here together. Now what we need to do is go here through this dark bead which is after the three white beads. And I pull and when I pull guys you see what I have. I have this and then I pull some more. Okay, this is the central part of my fringe, which, as you may see, is single. And in my next step, I'm going back through all of those beads and again through the middle two black beads that I started this row from. Now I have this one in the center of my work. And my fringe is ready. Now what I want to do is go through some beads here okay and i want to make here a loop then i go once and i go second time through this loop i've made and i pull then i go through some beads in this direction and i cut my thread Okay guys, and now my Shane Delir Native American seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. You might also want to hit the bell button to be notified for new tutorials as they come. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough guys for these actions. Check description for useful resources and also my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check down there in description and at the join button. Thank you for staying with me here until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.